Chin chin a me, chin chin a me, chin chin true. I got this from Chinny. I don't know what to do. So this is Chinny's cheetah, the bug. Off on, off on. Um, joystick, and I almost forgot I had this because sometimes people send me things to fix that they expect back. And sometimes they send me stuff to fix that they're like, nah, it's a bit of crap, have a go. Um, and I remember Chinny sent me this to have a fix and send it back. And it's quite fortuitous because it's in the bottom of a box, under another box, under another box. Boxes all the way down. Oh my life. Chinny. Chinny, sir. You're killing me here. He's killing me for two reasons. One, it looks like a million parts. But two, this PCB is totally detached. He said there was an issue with the PCB like the auto fire switch might have been disconnected. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> it's become disconnected from reality. So that's gonna be pretty interesting to debug that. The reason it's kind of annoying, it sort of implies that now, once I've sort of repaired this joystick, I've got to test it. And how the heck do you test it when it's got these on it? Apart from having to dig out an old 8-bit or maybe 16-bit Tori ST or Amstrad or Sinclair to get this out. I don't really fancy doing a lot of those things and I certainly don't fancy getting the Sinclair out because if any of you know, when you've got the ZX um, Plus 2, whatever it's called, that um, has the tendency to rip that horrible long case it comes in. And it's already been ripped to ripped to ripped. And it hurts me. It hurts me internally because I think, oh no, it's not pristine showroom condition anymore. Anyway, let's forget about my babbling and we'll just sort of start looking in here to see if we can find what wires may have actually become disconnected. Well, I think there's a red wire here that's loose. The red wire and the blue wire had a race. All the red wants to do is stuff his filthy face. Um, clearly more than one wire is going to be needed though for this PCB. Ugh. Okay, let's Let's get a little bit closer with the camera because we're going to need this now as evidence to backtrack. And I'm going to start sliding some of these parts out. It's really weird actually looking at it. It's it's kind of a it's a micro switch design. But fascinating. So it's got these springs and as pressure's put on the spring, that's sort of actuating the uh, switch. Gosh, zoom in, we'll have a look. See if we can So you see the spring there? You can see there's a leaf switch there. Bang! So these would have taken some abuse actually. I think these are a pretty um, robust looking design. Okay, can't put it off any longer. Going to have to start trying to gently ease out some of these PCBs. So you've got it up, right, left. Yeah, up, right, left and down and two fire buttons. And a common wire between all of these, which is the red. So the red is a common. And that's about it, really. So I have to have a look at, bear with me, I'll have a look in a moment, see what Chinny was on about. He said there was an issue. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the whole thing apart. Let's have a look. Oh, it's, it is rather stiff. I'm going to have to lever these somehow. Oh, there we go. Brute force and ignorance. Oh, it's that centre pivot keeping it all in. So maybe I'll just... Nope, they still don't want to come out. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Ah! Okay. I broke another wire when I pulled that lot out. The show must go on. 
So Chili, I've clearly damaged it all now. That adds fun to the challenge, doesn't it? Oh, look at this hole. This is like a rat's nest, isn't it? I should have marked them, shouldn't I? Up, down, left, right. That would have been sensible. So there's an interesting bit of heat shrink on this one. Look, someone uh, has done a repair in the past. So that's a bit of a extension repair, I think. So, and there she is. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, stop the video here, go online and see if I can get the pinouts for these joystick connectors so we can make some sense of this and then we'll uh, reassemble it a bit better. Yeah, jump cut again, sorry about that. And you can see I've assembled it all. So what I did is I disassembled everything, took all the PCBs off and the wiring off and then I've just basically rewired everything apart from I've left the fire buttons on a separate circuit so they've got this yellow wire here which goes to their orange coming from the connector and they've got a green wire here this one underneath which is going to the common ground so that's basically all I've done if you're watching at home though and you want to know what the colors are for a cheetah joystick the fire buttons are orange, the down is blue, left is green, up is white, and right is brown. So that's basically the pinouts. In terms of the auto fire, I don't know. I haven't sussed that out. However, I know some of you like to play at home and you are a lot better at these things than me. This is kind of as far as I've got. It does appear to have two transistors. Um, there's two discernible wire contacts on the board where wires would have come in. I think maybe there's possibly one here, not sure. Could be a red herring though. So that's the circuit. These are the values I could sort of see on the boards. One meg, 56K, 104, 173 and one meg there. And say the two uh, transistors and the big switch that's on the top. So if you do know a bit about electronics and can figure that out, that will sort of help me out or help Chinny out. I don't know who's going to be concluding this build. I think I think you probably should have a go at this at least now. Have a little play with it. So I'm just going to assemble it back up. And it's weird. It does look like, though, it has been altered a bit because there's this thing looks like it's been sanded off in the past. I wonder if it has had a bit of, uh, bit of problems in the past or maybe Chinny's had a bit of trouble getting into it when he tried to do his clean out on it. I don't rightly know. Just gonna just try to get everything back in the right way. These joysticks do have a keyway. Stop them rotating. Get that there. Right yo. I think that should stay together long enough for me to get no. You cheeky bugger. That is a bit tricky. It's a bit tricksy. Oh. Right, let's try that again. It's just this PCB here doesn't seem to want to sit anywhere. Let's get that back down and start again. Put the auto fire PCB there. Yes, I think that's the trick. One fire button. two fire buttons. So this is the weird one. There's a washer on the end of this. It's probably going to want to escape. It is. It's escaping right away actually. Maybe if I just perch that on there. I'm going to go for a very aligned insertion here. Kind of there, kind of there. Just 
make sure they're oriented the right way because there is a keyway. Yeah, that seems good. Let's screw it all back up. So there you go, Chinny. Hopefully that will work out for you. Interestingly enough, the left-hand wire, which is the red wire, that does have a resistor in line. So I'm not sure what that's all about and why it's so important for the left and only the left to have that resistor. There's that circuit again. The final screw. the bug. So there you go Chinny, that's going to be on its way back to you. You can tell me if that's working out for you. No auto fire I'm afraid, but no, who uses auto fire really? As ever, thanks for watching.